Oh, that's just great. Oh, at least that one man, it's Trevor. Then where to go? Unacceptable! Condition! Unacceptable! I don't know why I just sound like a rock band or something, but I just feel like I'm just sleeping and just basically feeling like I'm in the middle of nowhere. Just had a door and I think it's coming from somewhere else. But I just feel like we're gonna do one video and I think I should do. And let's go do. Well, let's just say. Oh, he just. The video just showed my foot. And I'm just gonna close the door because I don't want any creepy people coming in there. 10 reviews in 10 minutes, is that right? Yep, yeah, I think we're gonna do that. And, um. I'm gonna show you 10 items. In fact, it's gonna be um, a bit of a Halloween theme. Because I'm actually gonna be showing you some very creepy looking things. And spooky little. Well, let's just say, um. I am. Um, okay. Oh no, three seconds. Here we go. Let's just show our first item. It's this one here. What is that? It's a Halloween 2019 item. Ghost Fishing Season uh, 12 pack. And how much does it cost? £15.95 or basically £5.16. And this is the back of the packaging. That looks like that. I'm going to show you what it looks like. It's like a pair of planters uh, fishing for magic arts, which is um, interesting. Uh, the magic cups in this toy, uh, they all look crappy, don't they? Let's see what they look like. Okay, what well, we've got here, and uh, I have to speak very gently there because my throat is in very appalling condition at the moment, though. Here's one of the haunters. Look at this. And look at this, there's one very simple trick I can do with the fish. And, um, well, actually, not really, because there's actually an actual trick that I can do. Let me just spit it out. And there's actually one interesting trick here. Oh no, I haven't got time. Look at this. Oh, oh my goodness me. Oh no, what is it? Oh, I'm just... <laughs> I honestly thought I was going to show you. Um, another item. Sorry, I've almost just puked. A large bill crow, five a pack, five pounds, no five. Uh, that's basically around um, three pounds away from the first part that we just saw. A little bit light. And I'm pretty sure they're based on the Asian large bird crow. That's what it's called there. It's not a Halloween item, but let's just give it a go, eh? And funnily enough, these guys are actually done with pen, which is actually very nice. This one is all dotted up with um, jet black. And of course, this one looks more like a purpley type of black. It's very omini style. It looks very pure black, but it's only this, which is pure black. That one, of course, looks also pure black. I'm not sure why they just left some of the detailing as well to give it a bit of realism. Look, like, you know, a leucistic crow. I think uh, that's just about it, though. <gasps> oh no! Let's just. Oh my giddy eyes! What is that? I don't know what this is. Is that like Miss Maggie? Is this was the um the other item I was actually going to throw out for? And this is actually um. I wonder what this is. This is Miss Maggie's. Um, I wonder why I call it Miss Maggie's, because it looks like Miss Maggie's from the fourth generation of Pokemon. It's got a witch's hat, it's a ghost. Yeah, it's got the red collar thing there. And it's got the purpley... What's that supposed to be on in there? Is that its throat? I can't quite recall, because I'm not quite sure what Miss Maggie's does. Uh, these are like, um... Are these supposed to be wings? Is that like a flying ghost? I don't know, it looks like a very weird witch-ghost hybrid thing. And uh, I almost just puked again because I just feel like I've been speaking too much though. I mean, look at the very um, daunting anime eyes, I'd say, because they look very anime-ish. And we're coming up towards Halloween, and wonder what's our next item. Oh wait, hang on. Oh, there's one more here. Oh, I wonder what this is. This is a um, a two D. I think it's more like a two D dog, chompy dog ghost toys. I'm pretty sure that's, that's um, what's called. Thirteen pounds going on or fourteen pounds. I don't know why I'm taking time. There's a picture of Gengar and Ghastly. These two Pokemon, of course. And I'm just gonna basically unpack them, of course. And uh, I just don't want any interruptions. So I'm just making sure that there's no interruptions in this video because there's, if there is any interruptions in this video, unfortunately, I have to start over again by Thursday because I think I'm going to respite. Anyways, what we have here is a Gengar. It's got this tongue here. Gengar! And we've also got a ghastly. G -g ghastly! It looks very cool, doesn't it? It looks very black, pretty evil. Dark Barbaco in a sense. It's got the purple fumes, of course, like a real ghastly does. And speaking of ghastly and Gengar, of course, 
Look what we've got. This is what it looks like to be a haunted toy. And that is actually very amazing indeed. And I'll show you what it looks like. And it's funny, I've actually made another one of these um, critters because this one here is short tailed. And um, the crest is also. I mean, to me, I think the design just doesn't look that. doesn't say that look hauntish. It looks more. I'm wondering what it looks like. It looks like a two legged chameleon or a lizard with. Maybe it could be an iguana with crests like that. That's what's shining out to me. It looks more like a, an iguana by the looks of it. I don't know. It, it could look like a chameleon. It looks more like a lizard than a ghost. It's got the tongue though. Look at this. Once again. Ah! Well, that scream didn't work. File. Here we go. Ha da 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 that's what a haunter actually laughs, though. And I can actually um, show you a much bigger one here if I bring it in. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at that. This is the haunter I've been looking for. Look at this. Oh, my goodness me. I'm actually having a cold now because we're coming up towards winter time. But from the weekend or so, we might have some warmer weather, of course. Maybe on Friday, of course. I mean, look at the daunting eyes on this thing. Looks like, you know, it looks like it's got accordion eyes. Maybe if I could do the laughing action as well. And uh, the tail looks quite long. A couple of more um these ghost streamy things, whatever they're called. I was gonna do this video on Tuesday, but I decided nah, it would actually be too loud at night, of course, I suppose. And um yeah, it looks actually um a bit like a, that's actually a much better version of Haunter, but I don't know, I don't think it's still got the actual haunter uh, eyes though, but I think that's what it portrays in the anime, of course. You know that one tower of terror, and not just haunter, you've also got Ginga, 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 Ginga. Well, I just feel like Ginga is actually quite amazing, and um, and look at this grin and this very recognizable eyes. I don't know if it stands. But I'm pretty sure it is supposed to be a Ginga toy, and um. I've actually made another one which also has a tongue. Uh, the feature that I think another one which also has a tongue in it, of course. Um, does it stand well? It's got very diminutive looking arms. It's got a tail like Gengar does in the um, Pokemon anime. I'm actually going to put these away because I don't want the, the whole room to be cluttered with toys. And these clothes away. 15 seconds left. And um, which one was it? It was the Large Bird Crow. Toy, it wasn't a Halloween -y theme. It's just a mundane flat toy. Yes, it's a flat toy, of course. Oh my goodness me! Oh my god! Okay, here we go. This is the Gengar I was talking about. And um, I wonder what this does. It's a very strange looking um, uh, toy. And to be quite obvious, it's actually very amazing. Like, um, it's actually very cool in a sense, I suppose. It's so, so beautiful. Like, um, there's one very interesting feature, like, um, there's some eyes here, and there's also, the, um, there's also this mouth action here, and you've got the tongue as well, though, if I can just pop it open like so. Ah, oh, look at that, just did it slowly. Ah! More like Giga! It's actually quite a very nice looking Pokemon, I mean, um, the way it's been designed, looks very cool, doesn't it? And, um, yes, it does look like Gengar by the looks of the, um, the crests and things like that. Have I covered 10 items in this video? I'm not quite sure because um, I'm just guessing too much though. And I'm actually just thinking, oh, here comes another item there. Here we go. There's a, another one there. Oh, what we've got here. It's a Carrion Crow and Rook. Now, Mixed Boost Flock 12 pack. £16.95, £17. And we've got 12 Flapping Birds. That's very cool. We've got a Crow, we've got a Rook. In fact, I can't remember how many items I've looked at. Actually, I might have to probably show you the clothes very quickly because I just have a very great big fear. I don't know how many items I've got though, including the clothes there. So, okay, here is the crows and here are the rooks. I flap one of the rooks because the rooks have got white beaks as a bit of a factual thing. And then I flap the um, carrion crow because carrion crows have grey beaks or black beaks in a sense in real life. Uh, they've got names, which is cool. <laughs> And I don't know what to do, because I just feel like I'm counting random items. So yeah, I might just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And um, I wonder what's the 10th item going to be like. 
Oh, what is that? Doesn't look very Halloween-y to me. It's a, um, what is that? It looks like a very weird Mars rover, and it uh, looks very weird. I wonder what that does. What, what is that? Oh my god, is that like a probing tool? Is that like a gun? It reminds me of these characters out of Wally or something. It looks very weird, that toy. I know. I mean, look at that. A very, very weird pair of um, daunting, creepy looking eyes. Ooh! And I'll just show you right on the side. See? Looks very weird. And uh, there's also the little probing antenna thing at the back there as well. And uh, I think that just sums up a lot though, doesn't it? Because I just feel like that we've already just done 10 minutes of just looking at 10 different toys. And I just feel like I just have to speak very shortly because I have to get back to school. And remember, I'm heading for respite tonight and I can't make videos until tomorrow. Maybe in some other day. Who knows? It looks so cool. I mean, the very nice thing is, is that it's got a box at the back. And um, it's also got six pairs of wheels, I mean, three pairs of wheels, sorry. And it looks very, very cool. And, you know, I'm actually going to repack all of the, um, the toys that I've actually just made in this video. In fact, I'm actually just having toys which involving Halloween themes, which is actually very amazing though. So if you enjoyed this video, and, um, yes, it's very um, amazing, of course. If you enjoyed this video, uh, please give this video a very big like. And you can subscribe to my channel if you have anything really interested in what kind of content you want to look at on YouTube. Just please let me know because I just feel like you're basically one of the most savviest people on earth. And I just feel like, wow, that's just basically about it though. Can I just make videos about 10 reviews in 10 minutes, eh? Like looking at products like this. That's actually amazing. I'm not going to review that one again because I've already showcased that one, of course. And I have to tell you what, guys. This is chronically amazing. I'm going to pack this one away. And I just feel like making, you know, products that have packaging in them can be stressful, but yeah, I get the gist actually, I suppose. And I just feel like that, you know, making products on these days, it's super amazing. I'm just going to repack this one here. I'm pretty sure I have to show this one here because there'll be some people angry saying, Oh, I mean, you didn't show this or, you know, repacking thing on your whole FIFA channel while I'm doing it, guys. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, as always, thanks for watching, and I just feel like this video will come into an end. Bye for now, and I'm very sorry for the very rough and ready video production I've actually done because I had a cold. Good luck on buying those Halloween products uh, just before Halloween, and if you do have some time, give me a good luck. <laughs>